I am a Wyoming resident and have been for many, many years. So many that I didn't have to go through the steps to establish residency the same way you would if you move here. When my parents moved here when I was five and established residency, I automatically became a resident as a dependent of a legal resident. So what exactly does it mean to become a resident of Wyoming? Well, that depends on who you ask. I tried to find one simple list of how to establish Wyoming residency so I would be able to help everyone who is moving to Wyoming. It turns out it isn't quite as simple as I thought. Let me share what I did find. To become a resident of Wyoming, obviously you will need to establish legal residency in the state. This process typically includes several steps. Keep in mind that residency requirements can change over time, so it's a good idea to check the relevant state agencies, like the Wyoming Department of Transportation, for the most up-to-date information. It also depends on what purpose you are establishing residency for. The rules for being considered a Wyoming resident for hunting or college costs are different than say establishing residency to obtain a driver's license. Here are some general steps to become a resident of Wyoming. To become a Wyoming resident, you need to establish a physical presence in the state. That usually involves living in Wyoming for a certain length of time. The duration may vary, but typically this is considered at least 180 days per year. One of the main components of establishing a physical presence is establishing a physical address in Wyoming, which means finding a place to live. It should be no surprise, but it just so happens that I know someone who can help you with that, me. I've been an agent in this area for almost 20 years. Anyway, obtain a Wyoming driver's license. After establishing residency, as in having a residence with a local address, you should apply for a Wyoming driver's license. For most people who move to Wyoming, you have one year from the time you establish residency to get your Wyoming license. Interestingly, if your previous license is from Michigan, Georgia, Massachusetts, Tennessee, Wisconsin, or if you have a commercial license, you must get a Wyoming license immediately. A Wyoming driver's license involves visiting your local Wyoming Department of Transportation office. The first thing you'll need to bring is proof of your identity. They are quite particular on this requirement, so be sure to check what is needed before you go or you'll be making a second trip. Next, you'll need to provide two different documents that show proof of residence. For example, utility bills and a warranty deed or rental agreements. Again, you'll want to double check the YDOT website to see if there are any other required documents. Then you'll need to pass a vision test. You may need to pass a written test and may even need to pass a road test, but usually if you already have a valid driver's license from another state, this won't be necessary. You'll need to relinquish your license from the former state and of course pay the required fees. The next thing you need to do is register your vehicle. If you move to Wyoming and own a vehicle, you have a maximum of 120 days to register your vehicle in Wyoming. However, once you are employed in Wyoming, even temporarily, you'll need a Wyoming vehicle registration within 30 days, according to state law. There may be an exception for students attending college, but this exception may not apply if you're going to school and also employed here. Of course, if you're attending college in Wyoming and want to establish residency, registering your vehicle will help. To register your vehicle, you'll need to go in person to the county treasurer's office with all of your required paperwork. This includes providing proof of insurance, title or previous registration, completing a vehicle registration application, and paying the associated fees and taxes. In addition, if your vehicle is from out of state, a VIN inspection from law enforcement is also required. The next thing is register to vote. If you are at least 18 years old and you live in Wyoming, you can register to vote in Wyoming. You can register in person at the county or town clerk's office. You may register by mail by sending your signed notarized voter registration application along with clear photocopies of your identification documents to your county clerk. Normally the deadline for voter registration is 14 days before an election. However, you may register and vote at the same time at your polling place during absentee voting or on election day. You do have to prove that you live within the precinct you are trying to register in. It is funny that you're required to show where you currently live, your residence, to register to vote, and also that registering to vote helps you establish residency. Some of you may have registered in your prior state when you obtain your driver's license. Wyoming is exempt from the Motor Voter Act and does not permit voter registration at the DMV. Establish your Wyoming domicile. Domicile refers to your legal residence and it goes beyond physical presence. The state of Wyoming considers your domicile 
to be where you reside and where you intend to return to, your true fixed and permanent home. Another major aspect is that you can't have more than one domicile. So if you claim residency in another state, you cannot claim to be a resident of Wyoming. Establishing Wyoming as your true home does help establish your domicile in Wyoming. This may include things like obtaining a Wyoming address, opening a bank account in the state, and obtaining utility services in your name. In some states, you can simply file state income tax to help further establish your residency status in the state. However, while you should keep records of your income and expenses related to living in Wyoming, since Wyoming has no state income tax, this is not an option for establishing residency here. Another great way to demonstrate your intent to be a Wyoming resident is to update your address on important legal documents, such as your passport, social security records, and any professional licenses to reflect your Wyoming address. Getting involved in your new community by actively participating in community activities, such as local clubs, organizations, and events, you can demonstrate your commitment to Wyoming, your local community, and to being a resident. These are some of the basic things you can do to establish residency. It's important to know that residency requirements can vary depending upon your specific circumstances, as well as the agency or institution you're dealing with and your reasons for needing to establish residency. Be sure to check with the Wyoming Department of Transportation, the Wyoming Secretary of State's office, your 